This is Wilson Morales from Black Women TV talking to Scott Jackson regarding she -Rose. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. Obviously, this is a big role for you as that people are now getting to see you as an adult. What was it like filming this movie? Um, it was really fun filming this movie, um, alone just being in Thailand for a month, but um, just, you know, getting to be with an amazing cast that has, um, that was just really fun for me to do. So most definitely it was a great time and I loved it. You know, I like to think that everybody plays a role, it's gotta be a little bit about themselves in the character they're playing. How do you relate to Daisy? I relate to Daisy in a lot of ways. Um, I feel like she is very determined on what she wants in life in some aspects and she's a go-getter she's not afraid to get what she wants and she's going to get it with within any means and i feel like i am that way too if i have my eye on the prize i'm most definitely going to get that prize and i really respect daisy as a person so i resonate with her in quite a few ways now everybody has a posse of sorts whether it be one person or a group of people have you been in a situation where you've traveled with a posse whether it be it's in the neighborhood, outside of town or whatever, and shenanigans happen, but not to this extreme. <laughs> um, most definitely. Um, just recently, my birthday trip, it was supposed to go one way, but it went a whole different way. Um, but it was obviously not as crazy. I did not get kidnapped. Nothing bad happened. Um, but I feel like I'm always going through shenanigans in my life. Like nothing ever goes as planned, but I feel like those are also like the best moments too. You know, you're working with a group of people, obviously, and you make a movie like this and you're in Thailand, you get to bond. What was the chemistry like with the other actresses you're working with? You know, and are you friends after the movie is over or is it everybody going their own way? Um, of course, you know, just getting to meet. Wallace and Sasha for the first time. I had already met Isabel, but years ago, we never really got to connect on the type of level that we did for this film. Um, but it was really, really easy to connect with them and talk to them. And I feel like, I think that showed on screen more than anything. Um, they're just such sweet people. I didn't feel like, oh my gosh, like I have to have to work with them. And it's such a hard time. Like we really just instantly clicked. Um, and yeah, like to this day, we still all have a group chat. We'll communicate with each other, check in on each other, which I think is really important too. Mm -hmm. And then just Thailand itself, you know, it's like not everybody can go off, say they're going to go to Thailand. You know, how long yeah. do you, have to, you explore the parts of Thailand outside of the film areas? Yes. So we were there for 30 days and my days when I was not filming, um, I was going out I was going to the malls I was getting massages like just I really wanted to experience the culture and try the different food and just do as much as I could like I knew I was there for work but I really took advantage of those days off because when I travel I'm like I don't know when I'll come back here again or get the opportunity to do so so I really just love to experience the culture where I am is this a place that you'd, you wouldn't mind going there outside of work? It's like when you live in New York and you go to L.A., you don't mind going back to L.A. or vice versa. Is Thailand mm -hmm. a place that you go, so let's go to Thailand? <laughs> yeah, you know, it actually wasn't my first time in Thailand. It was my second time. I had went many years ago for Christmas, so me and my mom talk about it all the time. Like, she was wanting to get, like, a citizenship over there to, like, maybe move to Thailand one day because it kind of, to me, being from New York, like, um, certain parts, especially Bangkok, gave you kind of that New York feel, like just walking on the street. So um, most definitely I would go back to Thailand. And the people there are so sweet, which just like makes it everything. You've been working for a long period of time. You've done a different, a lot of different projects. You know, when you're working with Jonathan, what do you take from his direction that helps you grow as an actress as you move on to different projects? Um, the director? Yeah. Like, what do you get? What, what's your takeaway from doing this movie that, you know, will help you out next time you do a project? Was it be something small, something big? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, working with Jordan was really great on this film. And one thing that I learned is that never be afraid to state your opinion on the character or, you know, vocalize how you feel about the character. Because you can always portray a character how it's written, but it's really important to kind of really tap into that and collaborate with the creator. So that's one thing Jordan was really great at doing, especially with me, you know, not just placing me out there and just, okay, do as it says. Like he would ask me questions, you know, 
do you feel like Daisy could do this? Or would you like her not to do that? It was very much a collaborative thing. And I think that showed on screen, um, whether it just be just straight from the paper and then me acting it out. When you're not in front of the camera, how do you stay humble? You know, like at some point or another, you know, you've been around for so long that like, when can you be yourself without worrying to be, without having to worry what's going to be placed on social media? <laughs> um, you know, honestly, I think it's just how I am as a person. I don't care about social media. Like it's just there. I, you know, obviously when I was young, I didn't have social media. Instagram was not a thing. So um, I like to separate the Instagram from reality. And I, that's why most of the people that I'm with are regular people. They're not in the film industry. My mom also has also kept me humble since a very young age. I don't even per se consider myself famous. I consider myself, you know, obviously I do something and people just like what I do. Like I don't ever put myself on a pedestal above anybody else because at the end of the day, we're all human and we're all the same. So me, like when I'm not working, I'm just at home. I'm with my dog. I'm hanging out with my friends. I'm not dressed up. I'm in sweatpants and a boy's t-shirt and looking crazy. Like uh, it's very, it's very different from what you see on social media and when I'm out and about. Before I let you go, you know, there's a lot of product out there, streaming, theaters, cable, network. What's a good reason to see she -Rose? Um, If you just want to watch a film that's going to keep you in tune for that hour and a half, you need to watch she -Rose. And I think it's also, too, to you can watch this film and just see, okay, it's four different best friends, and they are all very different. Daisy's very different from Ryder and Diamond and Ezra, but they still make it work, and they come together as a team. And it just shows that no matter how big, how small, who you are as a person, you can put anything, whatever whatever you want to do in life, you can do it. It doesn't matter how big or small. So I think that's what this film will kind of show. And I think people will really like it. Congrats on the road, Sky. Congrats on this film. I'm sure we'll talk down the road with more projects you have coming down the road. Wherever you're at, take care, stay safe. We'll talk next time. Thank you, Wilson.